Hello and welcome back to Satisfactory. So, last time we were starting to get work on some of these parts. We've gotten up to a certain point and we needed to make some of these heavy framework <coughs> things in order to build the next machine that will, you know, build those items for us. So, we got the parts. Let's get to it. So we've got... Ooh, Floor is too steep. Can't afford. Oh, I'm short a few uh, cables. I did not realize I was short those cables. Let's go and get those. That'll be easy enough. Should have some right. Yeah. Let's bop back over there. And you know what? Let's actually uh, go over this way. Grab ourselves a little bit more of that old concrete there. Because <clears throat> we're going to need that, too. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice there. Uh, it's been, uh... It's been, uh... Moldy out lately. We'll put it that way. Alright, so let's... Kind of... Let's kind of do that a bit. Get a little bit of that on. Alright. Now, the manufacturer. We need this right in Yalvanya. Alright, so let's see, we've got somewhere. Hmm. Should I just kinda move this that direction instead? I kinda want to, but Yeah, you know what? We'll do that. <clears throat> there is that. So let's go over to this thing. This is the first one of these we've actually built. We want heavy modular frame. Oh, man. Computers are going to need to be made in these, too. All right. Well, we want these guys. And that's going to take steel pipes, encased industrial beams, screws, and modular frames. So let's see. Right here, we have encased industrial beams. Excellent. We'll throw those right into that thing over there. We'll just kind of go... You know what? Let's... Do that and that. There we go. Straight on in. Conveyor belt mark two. All right. So you are ah, you are our steel pipes. Let's turn that on. Turn that. Oh, you just don't have any power. I did not realize. All right. Let's get this guy hooked up. Uh, let's see. You're hooked to there, to there, to there. You have one left, right? Yeah, you've got one left. Let's hook you to there. All right. Now, we are going to have to be a little careful. We're uh, kind of running a little close to capacity here. I actually put more power shards into our power plants over there. There is only room for one more shard in those before I have to start supplementing the power a different way. So let's see. We want these guys to go there. But we want... Or rather, we need... We'll do that. There we go. And then we'll get you... Hmm. How do we do this? Can we... Alright, we can do that. And then over there? There we go. All the way over there. Now. We need the screws from there. And we're going to need these guys from over here. So I ended up putting in the splitter here and basically just getting it hooked back up to that guy. So we're good there-ish. You're a Mark 1. Yeah, let's go ahead with the Mark 1. Right, you need to come this way. Let's do that and bring you up a bit. That sounds good, right? Hmm, how do I want to do this? Let's see. If we can get you about there. Then we should be able to get you going this way. In a kind of, sort of sort of way. Encroaching on a clearance, huh? Oh. Okay, maybe not. Can we... 
We can't do that at all. Okay, hang on, hang on. Alright, let's try that again. We can get you maybe about there then. And then move this this way. That seems a bit more <clears throat> reasonable. Alright, let's kind of get you over here. Yeah, that corner looks good. Let's actually turn you a little that way. And then you should be able... Hmm, can't afford. Oh, it's just I can't afford it because I don't have enough plates. Alright, let's go get the plates. I actually ran out of steel plates. Do, do, do. You know, do I have some sitting in a thing down here? It's entirely possible. Oh, yeah, I've got a bunch. There we go. Do, do, do. Let us have a you come right there. Beautiful. All right, let's take the ones that we happen to have in our inventory, shove them in there. You have no power, but that's okay. You don't need it yet. All right, you are going to need, like, super duper you know, ones. So we're going to want our Mark Threes. Where's our Mark Threes? Mark Three. You need to go there. So we'll just send you straight there. Just like that. Look at them go. All right. You need power. You don't have much power left. All right, let's get another line out of you. Let's put this right there. And now we'll hook you to that and watch all of our power go away. Oh, no. Okay. Here we go. All right, we're waiting on the screws still. There's only so much I can do about that. Oh. Oh, you're in standby. Let's turn you back on. That's a little bit of a problem. Alright. Yeah, we're definitely going to need more power because we're going to need to get those screws running faster. But hey, here we go. Our very first automated heavy modular frame. And we're going to need ten of these before we can build another one of these machines. Alright. Now that we've got that on the go, we are still going to need some more parts. What do we need? Let's let's take a quick look in this machine. We can go select recipe. All right, so the modular engine and the adaptive control unit. That's going to take computers as well. Who oh boy. And then you... You shouldn't be so bad. This one, though... Yikes. Gotta be said, yikes. <clears throat> Alright, let's go take a quick look at our uh, space elevator here. Just to kind of see where we are. So we had filled that container with those other parts earlier. That was... Just shy of half. So if I do that again with another full container, I'll just need 100 more. So you need 500 of you. Oof. Gotta be said oof there. So that means I'm gonna need 1,000 standard engines. Okay. And 1,000 of those smart platings. And way, way more rubber. And you, I need a hundred of you. That's not so bad, but that's still pretty bad. Where the heck was I making those parts? What is that part? All right, so this should be the smart plating, right? Yeah, that's the smart plating. Where's the other part I was making? So let's see, we've got 
The framework over here, that's what this guy is. Right. Where did I have my other part? You're going that way. You're going that way. That all was coming over here. That's doing a thing. That's making engines. What is this making? Ah! This is the one that was making the parts. Okay. You're in standby. So I've got this machine here. Ugh. Which is going to need to interface with all those other things. Whew. Okay, computers. We're going to need computers. Let's take a look at the computer. And see what we need to do for that. Things are getting complicated. And power intensive. But if we can get some of these guys on the go... Why am I looking at this? I wanted this over here. I wanted to go over to my hub. I'm I'm already losing my mind getting this stuff going. Alright, so let's see. Where's a computer? Computer. <clears throat> Alright. So for the computer, we need... Cables, plastic, screws, man, those screws, and circuit boards. Circuit boards take copper sheeting and plastic. Alright, we should be able to get the copper sheeting and plastic stuff going. A hundred computers. A hundred computers. Alright, circuit boards. Let's focus on circuit boards first. We can figure out the rest after. So, copper sheeting, which is right here, not getting used by anything. Right there. And plastic, which we have going up to that, but... We should be able to split off right here. Or right here. This is actually going to be slightly better to split off, right? Yeah, let's split it off right here. So we need... A splitter, of course. Alright. We're going to need... Now yeah, let's do the Mark II for out into there. And then what are you? You're a Mark I. Alright, we can just Mark I right to that. And that is connected again. We can even take the ones that are in our inventory, shove them in there, call them good. Alright. So we have an out for our plastic. We have that over there. I guess I'm going to put the machine to make circuit boards right here. Let's put down a couple more foundations. Just to kind of get things all set up there. That looks good. All right. So it takes two items to make. So we need an assembler. Oh boy. How are we going to do this? This seems best. All right, let's get you. Should we just go straight in or should I? You know what? I'm going to bring you up here. Angle you. Now nah, we'll just leave you like that. And then we'll bring you in. All right, you are going to make for me circuit boards. All right. We're going to bring you right there. We will bring you 
to there. If I need to split this at any point, it'll be this part right here I split at. So that will work out pretty darn good if I do say so myself. We're going to put you right to there. And then you can go into that. And now we just need to find power for you. That is going to be easier said than done. Power. Because that's full. You have a little left. Let's bring you down there. And then let's bring you over this direction, because I don't feel like that's a good plan. And then we're going to cook you up to there. All right. And nothing has blown a circuit yet, so we're okay. All right, we're making circuit boards. Bam, there's our first circuit board. <clears throat> Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay. We are going to need to start using fuel. That is ultimately what that is. But that's okay. That's what this expanded power infrastructure thing is supposed to be for. Alright, so let's go back and figure out this computer thing again. Okay, they're still green. I'm like, did everything shut down and I just not notice? No, it didn't. Alright. So there were screws involved in this, and this is already going to be a pain. Alright, cables. Cables aren't going to be too bad. Plastic shouldn't be too bad because I've already got a splitter for that. Except I'm going to probably have to split it again. Or somehow wind it around. Circuit boards. It's the screws that are going to be a problem. Alright. Computers. We can do this. Right? Right, guys? You, you believe in me. Believe in the me that believes in... I don't know. I've I've lost I, I, I've lost it somewhere. All right. So let's go right here. We're gonna take that out. We're gonna take you guys. We're gonna put you back in there. We are going to. Come over to logistics. We're going to come to our splitter. We're going to put our splitter right on that. Excellent. You are going to go into there and continue doing your thing. All right. I now have another way out. You are going to be out for that. We've got wires over here that we can theoretically... Oh, boy. Or cables, I mean. All right, that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. We should be able to manage it, though. Let's just uh, remove this line. Let us... Get this guy back up. Splitter. We want... Right there. That should do. Let's... Get our Mark II in... Get our Mark One. Oh no, Mark One. No. Oh, why? Why can you not do this? All right, maybe I need to go a little closer. Alright, let's try this again. We have a splitter. We'll get that a little bit closer. We will try and go with our Mark II in. That should do. Alright, Mark One into there. Good. Alright, that worked. Alright, that is no worse off than it was. And we have a way out. Okay. All right, so we have circuit boards, plastic, wire. 
I'm going to have to put this thing, like, over here, aren't I? How much more... Not a lot more concrete. I don't have much more concrete on me, but that's okay. We can, uh... Go grab some. It's right over here, after all. All right. Okay. That should be plenty of room for it. All right, so... Let's get the machine up. And then we will figure out how we're getting everything into it. That sounds like a terrible plan, but a plan nonetheless. All right, down here we go, because we're going to need ten of these dudes. I have one. Why do I have one? Did I put another machine into standby? I sure did. Uh, I have one. All right, let's let's, I guess maybe consider things a little bit longer. All right, so I need screws. Where am I gonna get screws from? My nearest line of screws is over here, isn't it? Maybe I could put it in this spot instead. That might work. I've got screws coming in here, but those guys are getting used as fast as they come in. That's the problem with the screws. Ooh, but we do have rods coming in at faster than we're using them. We could always set up another machine to make screws. That might work. Let's do that. All right, let's... Let's try and set up another machine to make screws. So that'll just be a constructor. We'll have you face that way. Good. You... All right, let's just do some basic ones here. All right, you need to come around. Mm hmm. Do, do, do. All right, if we bring you about there. There we go, all right. That will bring more rods over. You can make screws and ship them that way. Let's use a Mark II for that. Because why not? All right, let's, in point of fact, bring you... Right over there. And we can pick it up from there when we need it. Okay. Now, obviously, we're not producing them yet because we don't have a hook to power, but that's okay. We can worry about that once we need to. Um, next. Next. All right, so we've got, we've got all four parts. Now we basically just need the machine. And a place to put it. I do still think maybe over there is a good idea. Although the screws will be rather far. But we could snake it around. Let's... Let's put a splitter in here. Because we might need to split this. And I figure if I do it now... It'll save me having a headache with it later. So we'll do that there. And we are going to bring you... Under there. Up like so. And we can pick you up when we need you and connect you to the machine when we need you to. Alright, so we got that. The wires. Similar problem.
All right. All right, so we'll have you there. Let's snake around the screws. We will bring you over there. Like that. Like so. Like that. All right. So we got one, two, three of our four items. Our other one is going to be over there that we're going to need to bring around this way. We should be able to just kind of bring it right around like that. So let's go ahead and just say like you. We'll just bring you out about there. Connect you down like that. You can come right around to here. And we'll connect you when ready. Okay, we've already got plastic coming in. Good. All right, so that's one, two, three, four items. All right, let's go see if our little modular frames are ready, because we're about out of episode. But we've got all the little bits ready for this. We have three. All right, tell you what. I'll come back in a minute or two, and we'll wrap this up. See you then. All right, I am back. We have our ten heavy modular frames. Bam! There we go. All right. We're going to let that continue to do its thing as much as it can. And we're going to pop over here. Oh, we need, from this guy, five of these. Oops, I didn't want to do it that way. We need five. There you go. All right, we got five of those. And I'm going to need 50 plastic. And that will be what we need in order to finish these guys up. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, that's not what I wanted. I want to go over here. This guy. Boop, 50. Oh, 50 became 49. Hang on. There we go. All right. 50. Now, we're probably going to run into power problems, but if we can manage to get these things we need around the power problems, then we'll be able to then hopefully fix some of our power problems. I know. Fascinating, right? All right. Let's build that manufacturer. We are going to set it to computers. We are going to try and figure out how to snake all these guys in. All right, so you're up the highest almost. Not yet. All right, you can't afford. Really? Oh, I'm out of steel plates again. I'm going to run long because I need steel plates. All right, I'm going to go ahead and run a couple minutes long here because I at least want to get this thing set up so that we can uh, let it do its thing in between episodes. Let's see. That'll do. All right. And yeah, like I said, gonna run long. But it's important. It may not be fast. It may cause some power issues. But it'll be automated. And that's the most important part, because that means I'll be able to just leave it and let it do its thing. Right, you are going to go whoop, there. Of course, I don't have anything on that one yet. You are going to come right 
there. And then you are going to come right there. All right, these are all going to go in. Um, we're going to we're going to use the, the the Mark II's just in case I ever do actually need to connect that. There we go. Those are going to go. I'm going to run all the way down to this end and get this turned on. So we need a little bit of power. All right, that's not going to be too hard. We'll just tap into that power line. And you're running. Let's make sure you're producing screws, like I think. All right, good. That is that running. That's all. everything running except for the manufacturer itself. Which we need... Ooh, where are we going to get some power for this bad boy? Let's see. You're at four. You're at four. You're at four. There we go. Come on down. Here we go. And I'm going to put some of these guys in. And as soon as that plastic and cable fills up, there we go. Here comes the plastic. We're going to get our first automated computer. Here we go. It's slow. It's power intensive, but it's automated. All right. So this is going to do it for the episode. We have automated computers. So until next time, have a good one.